What is flow? Flow is What is, what is flow? We understand the world as a series of discrete events. We can't think, we're not able to think of a smooth, unbroken, linear, constantly evolving line. We can't think about that because in order to identify things, we need to identify spots. We need to identify points so that we can compare them. So if you think about music, music is a series of notes usually. Um, that, and what is a note? A note is a dot of, that contains information that's placed on a grid in time that is on a predictable tempo grid so that we can have a predictive sense of when the next one's going to occur. And that we, by having these dots called notes on different points on the grid, we, without, we are hardwired to try to categorize them and understand some kind of of ordering that's going on between them. And so we keep track of a series of dots, we put them together, and we can, if, if, it's, if it's done well, we will remember them as something we would call a melody. And that melody is actually a series of discrete points on a grid in time that we hear as a continuous flow, but actually it's not. It's actually a series of discrete events. And so I would say this thing we think of as movement is not, even though we perceive it as constant movement, uh, or we think of it as that, actually, in order to, to, uh, to create it and think about it, we need to actually specify it in terms of a series of discrete moments that we are tracking. And when I think of movement, I would think of it, I think of it that way. It's like if you were making a movie and each one is made up of a little frame of, of a moment, like a split second, like the tiniest segment of time, right? And what disturbs it is anything that goes from here to there rather than in one continuous kind of m microsecond by microsecond. It's about being in the moment all the time mm -hmm. and connecting one thing to the next, to the next, to the next, rather than um, jumping from one thing to another. Everything like, uh, let's say, how, uh, moving, like linking move to move with your momentum without breaking your momentum in a smooth and suave, nice way. Maybe flow could be connected to any of the seven emotions, but it actually engages us in some way that we need to, we want to, we feel that there's an implicit requirement that it's important for us to get engaged with the uh, information that's being presented to us. It's a quality. 
it's an unbroken stream of movement. But it, what it has to do, it's, it's more of a quality than a, like something you could attach to a technique or anything like that. It's, uh, it's about being in the moment all the time. brings to body mind fluid flow is feels very fluid um, there are lots of examples one can look at in dance where things are fluid yeah, obviously a, f a fluidity or a fluid like a fluid motion doesn't stop but it can crash it can freeze you know it can uh, melt again you know there, there's so many different just like Bruce Lee said in water you know because it flows you know and again, it could it could hit something and come back the other way, and a whole other motion, a whole another fluid flow of ideas could you know develop. Yeah, liquidity, like something that's just liquid, like the movement's pouring from um, temporal rather than being chopped up. Being ongoing in one direction, or or in clear direction, and if it changes direction, it somehow can translate that momentum from one direction to another, rather than choking it. Um, and I feel really fluid when I can fall into three-dimensional movement. I don't know that you could just ref like talk about just fluids, because it has to do with, um, you know, it's a state of mind. body and your mind as one and, and, and knowing like you're where you're gonna go with it that's the only way you can achieve it you know if you got these great ideas and all this but your body can't pull it off you're nothing you know it's got to be neck and neck right there like it's not just something that is um, thought about but it's something that you physically sense like for example the fluids in the, the arm like gravity side and really sensing how that moves through your body rather than here's an idea and I'm just gonna think it you know it has to be it's a sense to that it basically is a meditation because it brings you to a moment and you have to put your total concentration of everything you're doing into every movement a meditation could be also referred to as something one gives 100% of their awareness to and in that case yes so movement can be seen as a meditation, and that really is, has a huge part of whether it has a sense of flow or not. Um, so there's the, you know, there's the two parts of it, like meditation as like complete awareness and attention to what you're doing, or meditation as some kind of trance state, which it is not, or doesn't need to be. You gotta have control, for sure. You can't, you can't have too much energy and be out of control. I, I feel like everything has to have control. You have to, you have to control your body, know your body, uh, and just to know what you're going to do next. If you're in a state of flow when you're moving, the, the, the thing that will bring you out of that state is thinking about, like, like oh, now I want to do this. It's a thought process. It's just about connecting things together. That makes sense. It's not about overthinking. It's just about being. <laughs> Uh, is just to more or less be smooth and suave with your movements. Don't look like you're thinking of what I gotta do next. Everything, it just comes out easy as pie. Like, almost like you're an instrument in, in this song and you're just right there along with the song. You know what's gonna happen next. You know where we're going on this adventure with the music. You know, uh, you know, you, you're, you're always connected to that. For me, it's very instinctual and, and, and 
non-thought process. It's, you know, it's, um... Like, because when you're in flow, you're also in mind. Your attention is there, your mind is, is awake and active, but you're not thinking about it in the same sense that you think, oh, I wonder what I'm going to do today, when you talk to yourself in your head. It's a different way of thinking. State of flow is something that people get into for very short periods of time, um, but the more they practice it, the longer they can stay in it. Knowledge of your body. I mean, that's it. You've got to master your movements. You have to know what you're gonna, what your limitless options are. You have to have 50 of them, 50 things to choose from at any given second and you, you've mastered your muscle memory so well that no matter where you go out of these 20 options that may flash in your head when you dance, that you pick always pick the right one. No matter where you go, because you know your body so well, your movement so well, you, it's gonna make, it's gonna look good. It's gonna feel good. If it feels good, it looks good. Like flow has a really uh, delicious feel to it. Like it's like a good taste, like when you eat really good food, you don't want to just chew it up and swallow it. You just want to savor it. And when you're in that state of flow, you just, you're savoring each moment of it. And that's, it's, a, I mean, it's, it's I think part of why I do what I do. And so he talks about the flow being um, a state, state of mind, body, state of body, mind. That's the complete, um, so somewhere in the middle between boredom and anxiety. What I experience when I'm in that place, I oftentimes will, like if I'm really following movement and sensing it and completely there, once in a while, um, it depends also on context. Like if I'm in, perf well, it happens in performance too. There's sometimes I just, like, I feel so much joy. Like I just like 
I was rehearsing the other day and I was in that state of flow and I was just following a movement without knowing where it would go and when it went there I started laughing because it was so unexpected that it was um, you know it just made me laugh you know, it was like I surprised myself um, flow is thought too it's just not language <laughs>